Hello and welcome to Mint. I am Nasreen Sultana and this is Mint Explainer. Today we are analyzing the September quarter corporate earnings. According to Mint an uh, analysis, earnings for the uh, September quarter was better than expected because of reduction of the corporate tax, which also kind of restrained the pace of downgrades in September quarter. But the reality is that businesses were still reeling under pressure in September quarter. What also helped companies in posting better uh, net profit in September quarter was the initiative that the companies had taken in cutting cost. Also, lower commodity prices of crude or other metals such as aluminium and copper helped companies to report better, uh, better than expected net profit. But if you do a deep dive anal analysis, the, the numbers are not very healthy. We have done a bit of analysis of around 1,462 companies. Uh, this is of course excluding banks, financials, oil and gas companies as they have different business models. So according to our analysis, net sales in September quarter had fallen to 27 quarter low. Uh, this uh, in uh, September net sales was uh, saw a fall of 22.23% which compares to uh, a growth of 5.15% in June quarter of this fiscal. Now when you compare this net sales to the second quarter of FY9 there uh, these companies had reported around growth of around 21.61% of course we also have to remember that uh, net sales of companies had picked up after companies had started restocking a lot of uh, st uh, stocks in their uh, stores after GST or the goods, goods and service taxes was introduced in the country in July two th 2017. To see how much has the lower uh, reduction in ta corporate tax impacted the corporate earnings, we did a bit of more uh, deep analysis. We looked at the profit before tax or the PBT of these companies. So in September quarter, profit before tax or PBT uh, has steadily fallen to three uh, consecutive uh, quarters and it was a three quarters low falling to 7.92 percent year on year this compares to a mere 1.58 percent drop in the first quarter of fy20 when we compare this data to uh, the first, the second quarter of fy19 the pbt or the, or the profit before tax of this company was of these companies were around 16.92 uh, percent uh, growth now this numbers actually excludes uh, telecom companies like Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea, uh, which uh, uh, had reported massive losses in September quarter. Uh, uh, Vodafone Idea had uh, incurred a record of 50,922 crore loss. That was a record loss that the company had reported in September quarter. Similarly, Bharti Airtel had reported a loss of 20,045 crore uh, in September quarter. Now, if you include both these companies in the PBT, then the profit before tax of this companies had actually fallen 62 percent in September quarter which is almost more than um, half of what we saw in the last previous quarters. The reason why there's a lot of difference between PBT and the PAT is because of the kind of deferred tax this, that these companies had on their uh, balance sheet uh, because of reduction in the corporate tax. Now uh, we did a uh, uh, you know, furthermore if you look at uh, the adjusted net profit that actually rose by 8.606% year on year in Q2 compared to a growth of 0.87% in the first quarter of F FY20. There's a massive jump because of the kind of tax that these companies had paid. According to our analysis, the tax outgo of these companies were had fallen 57% in September quarter, uh, which was lowest in again 27 quarters that we have done a bit of calculation there. In the same quarter last fiscal, the tax outgo of this company was uh, higher by 32.84%. Furthermore, if you look at the commodity prices uh, like crude, aluminium or uh, copper, which most companies have used these uh, commodities as their raw material cost, crude prices were actually down by 8.60% in, in the three months ending September. Similarly, aluminium was down 4.40% and copper was down 4.79% uh, on the London Metal Exchange. And now this actually helped companies to uh, 
uh, improve their profitability and also their raw material cost or the input cost for these companies were uh, lower. Analysts that I have spoken to uh, have said that rural growth is very important from here on as the benefit of a lowered corporate tax will actually be seen in FY20 most likely in the first or the second quarter of FY21. Monsoon uh, was very scanty, it was not widespread in this year. Uh, also there was unseasonal rains in the month of September which may have uh, damaged a few grubby crops which is harvested in January. So analysts are looking and watching out the, the harvest uh, numbers of ravi crops and that will kind of uh, indicate what kind of rural income is going to be announced in Jan, Jan or Feb which of course will have a direct impact on the upliftment of consumption in the country. We'll have to wait and watch out how these numbers pan out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. For more details and updates, stay tuned.